buildup of electric charge can occur by sliding physical contact or by induction. On a dry day, scuff across the carpet in your socks. As your socks rub against the carpet, they pick up electrons, which spread across your body, making you negatively charged. Touch a metal doorknob, and you may feel the zap of an electric discharge, during which those electrons leave your body to find positive charges in the ground. Sliding across plastic-coated car seats produces the same effect. From this animation, can you deduce who has the more negative charge? Huh. Remember that electrons can easily flow through a metal, which we classify as a conductor. So consider two metal spheres in contact with each other while insulated from the ground. Now, take a charged rod and bring it close to one of the spheres. The negatively charged rod pushes electrons within the metal to the opposite side. The right side of sphere B thus becomes negatively charged, while the left side of sphere A becomes positively charged. We say that the rod has induced these charge buildups on the metal spheres. Now separate the spheres, and these induced charges remain. Of course, if the charge buildup is great enough, electrons may be able to jump across the insulating air, producing a spark. Cloud-forming warm water vapor rising high into the atmosphere can pick up electrons as it brushes against suspended ice crystals. Losing electrons, these ice crystals become positively charged. Updrafts lift these crystals upward, resulting in a cloud that's positively charged on the top and negatively charged on the bottom. That negative charge on the bottom can induce positive charges at the surface of the ground below. This sets the stage for a cloud-to-ground lightning bolt. Want to avoid that lightning bolt? Stay inside a building equipped with rooftop lightning rods, consisting of sharp metal points properly connected to the ground. As discovered by Benjamin Franklin, electric charges quickly leak away from sharp metal points. This means that electric charges can't build up very well. This makes the lightning rod equipped building less likely to become the recipient of nature's electric fury. Good energy. Mm-hmm.